Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. Although today, no Tundra. We're going to take our first drive in this 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro in the beautiful Terra color. This is the special color for 2024 TRD Pro. And this is kind of like a Tundra SUV. It has the same DNA as Tundra. And especially with the TRD Pro package, Fox suspension, BBS forged wheels, skid plate, heritage grill. Giving you a quick little basic walk around now before we take the ride. And then we'll do an actual walk around video a little bit later in the week. iForce Max engine, light bar, premium auto leveling headlights. A very nice truck. Let's take a ride and we'll talk about what we like and dislike about it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro driving down the road. This is not my first drive in this vehicle. I took this to my dealership walk a few days ago uh, down to Mays Landing and then over toward Philadelphia to film something you're going to see tomorrow. You're going to be very excited about. Um, and I had some time to, you know, enjoy the SUV, enjoy the Sequoia and see some of the things I feel about it when it comes to the driving aspects of this very large and very expensive family SUV. This puppy seats up to seven. It's a third row that folds down, but I will say this, and this is one of the biggest complaints on Sequoia, when that third row is up and being used, you lose a ton of trunk space. Now, if you're someone that's gonna keep the seats down and not really use that third row a lot, the trunk is gigantic and perfect, but when those seats are up, you do lose a lot of space. We will go over all of that when we are, uh, you know, doing the walk around video and talking about, you know, the aspects of the truck. But that's something you need to note. This one I'm sitting in right now is $81,000. This is the TRD Pro. This is one of the higher trims along with Capstone. So it's a little bit more expensive than your other ones out there, but it's something to keep in mind. These are not cheap. Uh, this full size family SUV category is quite competitive and there are a lot of great options out there. At the end of the day, will you choose Toyota over some of the other stuff out there? And even when you say Toyota, would you go this direction or would you go Land Cruiser or maybe a uh, Grand Highlander? There's a lot of different things uh, you, know, you can choose nowadays, but for a seven seater, this may be something you wanna check out. Now, I always say to myself, TRD Pro in Sequoia, does it make sense because this is a family SUV? I will say the look on the outside, it's absolutely awesome. The stuff on the inside, it's very much the same as the Toyota Tundra when it comes to the TRD Pro trim over on that truck. The 3.4 liter twin turbo iForce Max engine, that is still in this. Um, you still get the Softex heated ventilated memory seats. That's still here. It says TRD Pro all in the cab. This is the black camo. Uh, you get the Toyota on the dash, 14 inch screen is standard, JBL is standard, the pano roof is standard, the digital gauge cluster is standard. Uh, this thing comes very much loaded up, almost to the gills, we'll say. There still is a capstone that's gonna give you, you know, a little bit more when it comes to like the genuine semi-aniline leather and all that. But overall, this one packs a punch when it comes to uh, you know, all of your interior stuff, the, the features you're going to want. And for $81,000, I would hope it would. Now, TRD Pro, you're going to get the Fox suspension that gives a 1.1 inch lift in the front. You're going to get the 18 inch BBS Forge wheels. You're going to get the Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. Uh, you're going to get the skid plate. It has a really nice exhaust tone on this one. I don't know if you heard, I took a little video when I started up. I don't know how good the camera's going to pick it up, but that dual tip TRD exhaust, actually sounds phenomenal. And I mean that from the outside of the truck. You get the fed in noise because you have the, uh, you know, the JBL sound system, which gives you that fed in engine noise. But overall, I will say that this sounds amazing when it comes to, uh, you know, your exhaust note when you're outside the truck. I started it the other day and, uh, you know, I went inside to get something. I came out and heard, you know, just that idle. The exhaust note sounded so good. But the drivability of the vehicle is amazing. I always say, compared to a lot of the other new generation Toyotas that we talk about, how good the driving experience is, 
um, you know, how the, the vehicles always feel great when they're braking and they don't have a lot of body sway in these big heavy vehicles. One thing about the Sequoia that's different from the rest is I feel like this is as close as you're going to get to the driving feel of an old school uh, Toyota large SUV or truck. This still feels heavy, but the difference between yesteryear and today is this feels heavy, but has a powerful engine to get it up to speed quickly. The whole ride, the whole drivability, you've heard me say drivability in all of these vehicles over the past few weeks that we've driven them is very good. But this 6,000 plus pound SUV, it does feel heavy. And I mean that in a good way. It feels like it has a lot of girth around it, but that engine is there to get you up to speed. Light as a feather when you need it to, but it does feel like it has some great construction under it as well. Now with this, you can tow, uh, depending on configuration, about 9,000 pounds. Um, again, that's gonna depend on the trim you get and everything. Uh, something to keep in mind if you're someone that's gonna tow, you know, your family boat, if you're gonna tow maybe a camper or something, uh, this could do the job. It could take your entire family and you could also tow your toys with you wherever you go. But driving experience is awesome. The price is a little high, but that's just the way it is. Look, see how this gets up to speed? No problem. You can hear the turbos whistle a little bit. I don't know if the mic will pick that up, uh, but you know, it, it is expensive. Um, you're going to buy this for a purpose. I don't know if people are just going to buy the Sequoia to say, hey, I have a sweet Sequoia. You'll have to let me know in the comments on that one. And you'll also have to let me know. And this is kind of where I want to go with this video. When it comes to getting a Sequoia, would you go TRD Pro? I feel like it's so crazy that they put the Pro on the Sequoia. And I think it's awesome at the same time because they're all kind of priced right around the same area. For me, the capstone would probably make the most sense if I was going to buy a Sequoia because then you're getting the ultimate luxury. And I feel like these big family SUVs are all about that, that ultimate luxury feel, but that's up for debate. I do love the look on the outside, especially of the TRD Pro, uh, how it has everything body color, the heritage grill and all that. And the Fox suspension is absolutely amazing when it comes to on-road comfort. So if you're driving down those highways, and I've been saying this all along when it comes to, you know, the TRD Pro Tundras and stuff that I've owned and driven, if you're driving down a road that's, you know, not in the best of conditions, you're sitting in the truck and you're feeling good because that suspension, uh, the, the medium travel of the suspension is taking up and soaking up all of those bumps. And the driving aspect of the vehicle is amazing because of that Fox suspension. So would I get a TRD Pro version of the Sequoia? I don't know. It looks awesome. People of the, the, the short drives I've taken on this when I went to the dealerships, everybody looks at it. The color looks good. Everybody is like, what is that? And that's always the funny part to me because that used to happen even with the TRD Pro Tundra uh, of the new generation. It doesn't say Tundra all over the body like this one only says Sequoia in the back. So people look at it and they're like, what is that? And I love that about it because there's not a lot of name badging all around these trucks. It's just, it says Sequoia in the back, it says Toyota in the front, and that's pretty much it. And I kind of dig that. But if you are someone that's going to, uh, you know, take your family on trips, you have a bigger family, five to seven seater here, you got the captain's chairs behind me, very comfortable driver and passenger seat. It has great support as far as your bolstering, heated, ventilated memory, um, you know, this may be for you. This may be the family vehicle for you. Again, the price tag, quite high. There's a lot of different options on your way up. My wife and I have a Highlander that seats seven if we need it to. It has that row that goes up in the back just like this. Um, and it does the job for our needs, but it is obviously a lot smaller than in here. So I guess my overall end of the video question to all of you, do you think this has the purpose that you need? as far as for your family, or is this just too big? And most importantly, I wanna know, would you buy this just to own it without having that big family? Do you just like the Sequoia and you like the Sequoia with the TRD Pro package on it? You'll have to let me know in the comments below. But overall, it drives amazing, especially for a big family SUV. So if you're in the market for one of these large SUVs and you're checking out all the big three and all the options out there, uh, don't sneeze at this and definitely take a look at the Sequoia. And if you're trying to go that extra mile, take a look at the Sequoia TRD Pro because this thing looks cool, 
has a little more functionality. And if you're going to take it off the pavement, that Fox suspension will do all the work for you. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, at Tundra Dude 34, Tundra Dude 34 at gmail.com. Next video you're going to see on this TRD Pro Sequoia is going to be the walk around video talking about all the options and features in this vehicle that will support you and your family on your next road trip. Take care.